In this lesson, I want to show you how to add products directly on your article pages. In Joomla, article pages are also known as web pages. So when I refer to article pages or web pages, I am referring to the same thing. So we have here the default getting started. Whenever you install a Joomla template, the default one, then you get this article here. So what we're going to do is we're going to add products on this page. But one of the first things that we need to do is you need to create categories. So you click on categories, there are no categories, then you want to click on new. Now the reason why I'm doing this is because there are no categories, but if you have an existing store or existing pages, then you don't have to worry about this because those, you know, should have articles with those. So we want to put in the title for this particular category. So I'm just going to put in products and then just save and close. Okay, so now let's go back over to the articles and let's click on the getting started. Next, you want to assign this article to a category so since there's only one category it's going to automatically assign it to that but if you have multiple categories then you have to click the drop down menu and select the category to assign this article page to so now when you look here you have several tabs you have the publishing the image and links the options helix block options and the quick to cart options so i want us to focus on the quick to cart options so you want to click on this tab and then you want to click on the checkbox. This is going to enable you to add the product. So I have some products here from Amazon. I'm just going to copy and paste this over. And then for the SKU, you want to add something unique. And then you can select the store that you want this to be a part of. If you have multiple stores, then you can choose from the drop down. And you can choose the status and then set the price. And you want to make sure you choose the, the number of stock. And then you can choose the, the tax profile. That is not required, but if you want to assign this a tax profile, then you certainly can. But if you don't want to, then you can leave it as that. So I'm just going to leave this without assigning the tax or the shipping profile. And if you want to add an attribute, if you want to add a downloadable file so people can download this, then you can definitely, you know, utilize this here. So let's let's leave this as it is and let's click on save. Okay, so this has been saved now. When you go to the front end, you can't see this yet. So in order for you to see this, we have to go to menus, go to main menu, and we're going to connect the home page, which is this home button to the new page we just created. So to do so, you want to click on home, and then you want to click on where it says menu item type. You want to click on select, and you click on articles, and scroll to the bottom, and you want to click on single article. From the single article, you want to select the article, so you click on select. When you click on select, this is going to give you a drop down of all the article pages on your website. And if you have multiple categories and multiple art articles, then you can choose to be more specific here. You can filter it by selecting the publish and the access and so on and so forth. But since we have just one article right now, which is the getting started, we can click on this. And Joomla is going to automatically connect this article to this menu. So let's click on save. So when you come on the home page, you notice that you have this at the very bottom here. It has, you know, the, the tags has the price. It has the offer price. And then it has where you can click to add to cart. So if you have a product that you are selling and you want to have this type of format where people get to read about it and then it's scroll to the bottom, you know, to add to cart, then this is really great because there are times when you're creating a landing page and you don't want to put the product, you don't want to put the shopping cart information at the very top. You want people to read it and then come to the bottom to make a selection. Uh, you can certainly do that. When you look at the, the page here, the product page here, you don't see an image. So what we're going to do is we're going to customize this page so that it looks, you know, a little bit different. So let's go back here and you want to click on the content. Now we're going to activate the page builder. This is the JSM page builder, which you install in a previous uh, lecture. So you want to click on the page builder. So this now have activated the page builder and we are going to use the page builder to style 
uh, this page a little bit differently. Now, I'm not going to be going to a lot of detail, you know, with all the different features that the page builder has to offer, but it allows you to customize your article pages just by dragging and dropping pretty much anything, you know, anywhere. And I have a course that goes through extensive details and covers everything about it. All right, so let's get started. So what you see here now is uh, is the, the text. And with the text, when you click on it, you can edit it. You know, this is just uh, with the page builder, you can add a row, you can add different columns. So what, what I want to do is I want to add an image. And we are going to put the image on the right side of the page and then put a little bit of text on the left side of it. And then, of course, have this uh, option to add the product to the cart at the bottom. Keep that there. So let's go ahead and click on this plus. This is going to add another column. So when you click on another column, you want to click on add element. So from the add element, you want to click on image. From here, you can choose the image that you want to add. And one of the cool things about the JSN page builder is that it previews it for you on the right column here before it shows on the front end. So you get to see what it's going to look like in the back end before the general public does. And then you have the other image size to click action. And we're going to take a look at that in just a second. So where it says image file, you want to click on this. And then you're given another pop up screen here. And I'm just going to go over to the quick to cart. This is where this particular image is stored. But if you have an image that is stored somewhere else, then you want to locate it on this section here. You're going to have all the, 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 the folders where your images have been stored. So these are the other images that are part of the site. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab this Asus uh, laptop here. And then you can see that this is pretty big. So if you want to leave this as it is, you know, with this size, then you can definitely do so. But if you leave it at this size, the text on this section is going to be very, very small. Or if you want to set it up where the, the picture is just the main thing here, and then you have this at the bottom, you know, short description at the bottom, and then the add to cart. So let's try that first and see what that looks like. So you can you can um, click save, but also let's go over to the styling. This is where you can choose the different styling for it. So if you want to add a little bit more uh, spice to it. So if you look at the picture right now, I want you to watch this. When I make my selection here where it says container style and I click round it, this is going to change based on what I select. So when I click on circle, you notice the image is in a circle. And when I put in thumbnail, it's going to be in a thumbnail format. So I'm going to leave that as that is. You can align it to the left, to the right, to the center. And then you can have the animation here too. This is going to, when you click slide from top, you see it goes straight down. When you click slide from left, it comes to the left. So I'm just going to leave that at none. You can play around with that and, you know, and choose something that you want. So the action, you can also show original image, open link. So if you want this to link somewhere, then you can choose one of these. So you choose image link, then you put the link. So when they click on it, it's going to take them somewhere else. Show original image. And that's the image there, so we're just going to leave this at no action. So let's see how this looks first with this being the full size of it. So you want to click on to save. Okay, so now you have this here, and the image is on the right side of the page. So when I click save, it's going to take up a lot of space on the right side. Okay, let's preview this. So this is what it looks like now with the image on the right side and the content on the left side. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on add row. This is going to add a brand new row and I am going to drag this content, the text. It's going to drag the text and put it here. And then I'm going to delete this section, this column. So now you have just the image and then you have the text and then you have, of course, the, the add to cart option here at the very bottom. So let's take a look and see what this looks like on the front end. So when you come to the front end now, you notice that you have just the image, you have the information here, and then you have the add to cart at the very bottom of this. So if you have a product that you know you want to, to lay out like this, you certainly can do that. Or you can put it in that different format where you have the product on the right side, the text on the left, or vice versa. 
Uh, that's one of the great things about the JSM page builder is that it allows you to put things wherever you want them to be. So if you, you wanted to add a video, you wanted to add some additional things on this page, you can, you know, definitely do so as well. So this is how you're able to add this. And if you want to delete some of this text and make it shorter, then you can do that. And as you can see, it's very easy for people to come click, you know, add to cart and they can, you know, they can make a purchase of this particular item here. So this is one way that you can utilize in order to, to lay out the page. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to change the format of how this looks so that it has different columns uh, of this particular um, setup here. So I'm going to click on save as copy. So this has been saved as a copy. And the reason why I did that is I didn't want to have to, you know, retype the whole thing over. But if you notice here, the status is not published. Every time that you save as copy, it's going to copy the entire article, but it's not going to publish it. So you want to make sure that you click on publish and then you want to make sure that you select the category for this. So I'm going to keep the category uh, the exact same. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change this image to a different one. So I'm just going to click on, you can click just that link there and it's going to pop it up. And I'm going to select something else. I'm going to grab that fire. And then, of course, you can do different things here with the styling. Click this to be a thumbnail format. And let's click on save. And then we want to click this to be... Uh, before you click on that yet, let's change the title for that. So we're just going to copy this and you want to change the title and you want to go back to the quick to cart and just change the title. So next we're going to create another one. We're going to save this as copy and I'm going to come over here, grab this one here, grab the title and grab the image. So I'm pretty much just, you know, just repeating the same process for this. And once that's selected, you want to click on save. And the reason why I'm clicking on save first before clicking on save as copy is because if I click on, if I make changes and I click on save, it is going to overwrite the existing one. So I'm going to click on save as copy one more time because I want to add four products. And then we're going to come and grab this Microsoft Surface Pro. Okay, so now we have four products here. And the reason why I click on save and close because I want to create, I could have clicked on save, you know, as copy or save and new, but it's because I want to create a different format. So we're going to we want to click on the new and I'm just going to name this all products. And let's go ahead and activate this page builder and click on add element. And then we're going to artic add article list. So when you click on the add article, as you notice that you have the, you know, the four different products that were created. When we take a look at the front end here, this is what it's going to look like. So it gives you the items the, or the products here. And if someone wants to, you know, to see the image or to learn more, it gives them just a little synopsis here, which you can change that on the back end. Then you can also click on the name of the product. And it's going to show the picture for it and then give you a description about it. And then someone can be able to order at the very bottom of it. So those are two ways that you can utilize. And in case you're wondering how I was able to, you know, connect the home page to this, it's very simple. You go to the home and then you click on select article. You follow the same step as I showed you previously. And then when you get to the article page, you just choose the all products, which is the new page that we created. You want to click where it says menu item type. You click on select and you click on article. And then you want to click on the category block. So this is going to set up, set up in a block format. When you do that, you get to choose category. You choose the categories that you want to showcase. Since we have just one category, then this is automatically selected. And that is the products. So once we click save... And we're going to preview this on the front end. So when you preview this on the front end, this is what it looks like. You have the two category, categories side by side. And you can change this on the back end. So let's go, go and change this page up a little. So you go over to the menu and you go to blog layout. And then this is where you can kind of tweak it. And where it says leading articles, you want to put zero. And where it says column, this is where you get to choose how many columns you want to be. So I'm going to just select two. So let's click on save. 
So now when you take a look at the home page, you have two columns. Before you had one big article, the main one at the top, and then the other ones at the bottom. So now you have two columns. So you can choose to add as many columns as you want. But since we have just four products here, I'm just going to leave this at the two columns. You now I have two ways that you can add your products on your article pages, or rather two ways that you can present it. You can present it like this in a block format, or you can present it like this, another block format, but without any images, people would have to click on each uh, product for them to see uh, more information about it. So that's one way. And then here you have this other way. They can just click on the title, or they can also just add it from their cart directly on that page.